Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the emitters tag in Cinema 4D. And the emitters tag is very powerful. It can be used to create things like snow or rain, fire even, or making a pretty cool intro, which we're going to be going over just the basics for today. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and add our floor. Let's add a shape. For the emitters tag to work, you have to use some sort of shape. It can be something you've created or just a basic shape, such as a square. And I'm going to make this square smaller because in when we use our emitters tag, if you create objects that are too large, they will bounce off of each other if you then add a rigid body tag. So um, just using smaller so we can see what really happens. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a cloner object and drag the cube into the cloner object. We want to make sure our cloner object is set to 1 just because we want the emitter to do the actual um, cloning. So now for the actual emitter tab, if we go over to simulate particles emitter and drag our cloner object into our emitter tag. And if we go ahead and move the emitter, the emitter up a little bit, and if we, under the emitter tab, there is, there is of course, tons of um, settings that you can use. First that needs to be selected is show objects. And if we go ahead and hit play, we can see the cubes are now being emitted from this uh, starting location. Of course, you have other um, settings like how long it lasts, the speed, the variation. And if we go to their actual emitter tag, you have the size and what kind of shape you want and just some other things but we're not going to worry about that this time um, so now we can add some some uh, gravity into this by right clicking our floor and adding a rigid body tag onto the floor and the cloner object so if we, if we reset and hit play now we can see the cubes are actually hitting the floor and bouncing all over the place. And if you want to, go ahead and create more of them by making more frames, say 300 frames, get a nice count of um, how powerful the emitter tag is. So there we go. So now, go ahead and hit pause. Um, a, few, a few other things that we could do that's um, really cool to do is if we actually rotate the emitter tag clicking this button clicking it and then rotating it say 45 degrees and moving it up a little bit maybe down if we hit play again again the cubes oh <laughs> the cubes are actually going the wrong direction but that's fine uh, we can just rotate that by 180 degrees if we go ahead and see how that's going okay it's falling in the downward direction um, so now what we can do is we can uh, copy this uh, you can have two emitter tags maybe with an offset to get a bit more um, cubes or another thing you could do is let's say platonic I think that's how you say that and we can scale this down you use different shapes within the same um, emitter. So if we delete that and replace, what I just did is I just replaced the cubes with the uh, platonic object. And we'll make them a little bit smaller there. And if we see again, now what happens is because the two emitters are on top of each other, the rigid body tag is taking into effect and they're bouncing off each other and they're uh, kind of just going all over the place. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this 90 degrees and just move this over here <coughs> excuse me if we hit play now we have uh, platonics and cubes going about and hitting the floor and things so to finalize this what we're going to do is we're going to add a text object right in the middle. Let's go ahead and rotate that. Ninety degrees. Let's go ahead and 
change a font that we want. B Bass is my personal favorite. And we'll just go. Text is fine. If we go ahead and add a rigid body tag to the text object, what you'll see is that the uh, little squares in the platonics will bounce off and you have this really nice um, looking effect here. And of course you can have more than that and maybe throw in uh, throw in some lighting and um, you'll be set for a pretty, pretty nice looking intro. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, again, this was a very basic tutorial. I didn't really go into the settings of the... Um, Oh, that didn't come out where. Oh. Didn't go into the settings of the um, emitter tag, but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. <laughs>